Jane, how did it go with that doctor? Oh, um... It was fine. <laughs> a little more specificity would be fabulous. I will type up my notes for you. Jane, come here. What's going on? Her advice is irresponsible. And I just don't think that this is something that women in their 20s need to be obsessing over. Well, that was the attitude you walked into the interview with. You, it sounds like maybe you wrote the story before you got the story. No, I didn't. I asked hard questions. I just, I don't agree with the answers. Jane, that's not the way this works. You're not the doctor. She is. And if she thinks that young women need to take this seriously... She thinks I need to have the test. I'm 25. It's, it's ridiculous. Well, why does she think that? I don't... It doesn't matter. I'm not doing it. Jane, who in your family had it? Was it your mom? Yeah. I understand why this is tough. <laughs> no, you don't. Then explain it to me. Oh my god. This is the story you want me to write, isn't it? Let's discuss this in my office. Why? So you can tell me what an incredible journey this will be for me as a writer? I can write all about how my mom was dying from breast cancer when I was in kindergarten. About how the only thing I really remember of her is the hospital. And the mechanical bed and how the smells from that place still scare the crap out of me. I can relive all of that for you, for Scarlet Magazine. <laughs> I think we should take a walk. Why? No, I mean, it's not fair. We do all of this for you. And what do we even really know about you? Huh, anything? Your secrets? No. No, of course not, because that's, that's not how this works. We're just here to dance when you clap your hands and be your little writer monkeys, ready to humiliate ourselves, to torture ourselves for you. Take a walk. Look. I'm... I'm sorry. 